Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a birthday banner on Silhouette Studio, so you have to open that first. And I bought this template thing on the store, so then it's saved onto my library. So now I'm going to put it, well, import it into the matte place thing, and then I ungroup them. And then I skipped this part, but I, w I just moved out with the letters that I wasn't using. And like put the ones I am using on the top so I, I could like I don't have a hard time finding them or whatever so they're just up there and right here I'm just gonna size this to six and a half by seven and three fourths and then I'm going to apply that and then I'm gonna do the same thing for that letter E since those are the first two letters of his name and then well, I'm just resizing it again, and it's it's pretty simple if you're familiar to the portrait or cameo or whatever one you have, but if you have questions, I guess you guys could let me know. I don't know. This is the first video I do, so I'm not very good at this, I guess I could say. I don't know if you guys have questions just comment down below but right here I'm just gonna try to fit them in into the red guidelines and I should have mentioned this at the beginning but right now while well, I'm trying to look for it but um I forgot that the paper I'm using it is 9 inches by 12 because I'm using construction plate paper instead of the 8 and a half by 11 type of paper so I had to go in and like show you guys that because I forgot to mention it but make sure it's inside the red lines otherwise the machine will not cut outside of the red line and then um you guys well right there where I clicked is where you can choose the color that you would want the background to be I personally bought the colored paper instead since it's a teal color and it's not on here so yeah I was just trying to show you guys what like the different colors you could use and stuff and how it looks but on this I wanted the teal color so I just went into google and saved a picture of the color and then just put it in there and with the eyedropper thing I just click on the teal swatch thing patch whatever and filled in the background of the letter but this is good if you're printing other than that you could just leave it blanket and just put the paper the colored paper in the machine and it'll cut it so yeah I just wanted to show you guys how it looks and then make sure you have the thing selected make sure it's in red that's uh, it's going to cut so I went ahead and did that and did the settings and then I'm just going to show you guys the next two letters and then the rest well it's basically the same so I didn't record that part but I'm just going to copy and paste the next two letters onto the new file that I created and resize them to six and a half by seven and three fourths like I did with the other ones that's the size that I decided to do you can of course change the size if you want to it doesn't really matter this is just the size I use and you can like select both of them with the shift key if you'd like I I wasn't really thinking so I didn't I did them one by one but yeah um and then again I'm just going to see like fit it into the page like both of them so I had to tilt them a little I kind of tilted the R too much so I had to go back in there and rotate it back again to be aligned with the <laughs> red line thing I don't know it was too early for me to be up this is I was just doing it because I wanted to get it up on YouTube um, this is kind of random, but I 
like I, I think I mentioned it, I don't even remember, but I'm new to the YouTube, so I barely started my channel. I really like to do crafting stuff, so yeah, and I have an addiction with office supplies, so <laughs> you'll be seeing a lot of that. Um, so I'm just doing that again, like fitting it in there and right here. I'm just going to show you the color again, which you don't have to do it if you're just going to cut it on the colored paper, but I did it just for the video. And, oh, the R, well, it doesn't, you know, that little circle in the middle that it should have. Well, it doesn't have it, so I went ahead and did it myself, like freehanded. It's not that hard. I just used the, um, a knife cutter thingy and it worked pretty well and then right there is a printer we'll send to the printer and um i personally do the settings leave them all the same and then just change the quality to best so the color pops out more it depends what you want to do with it but i didn't print it so i pressed cancel and then on the those are the cut settings that little pencil thing and then click on it to cut edge and then do the same thing with the other one and then i forgot to show you guys the cut setting process part so i had to go back in and like record that part but i'm using construction paper and then so you click the type of paper you're using and then you scroll down and that's the blade setting that you should put your blade to and you do that on the machine and then that's the other part i accidentally clicked the and that button so I went back to undo it and then if you want to do a test cut you could and then here are some clips um thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys subscribe